We choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other things, not because they are easy, but because they are hard. Because that challenge is one that we're willing to accept, one we are unwilling to postpone, and one we intend to win, and the others too. I think that speech by John F. Kennedy is just one of the most iconic in American history. It had a goal that was so clear and so impossible at the time. In some ways, why you do impossible things is because then they're not impossible anymore. I started playwriting when I was really young, actually. I'm grateful that I learned at a young age what I loved. Over half of my work are stories of science, and the entire journey of a story has very similar characteristics to the journey of science. It's a discovery, a quest. If you can capture that story, that's really good theater. We're just gonna write this in now, so after Descent Looks Good, Andrea, we're gonna steal a part of Sophia's line from later and put it up there, so if you can write in, you are go to continue. I wrote a play called Earthrise, and it's a musical about the children of the astronauts, scientists, and mathematicians who got us to the moon. I'm really drawn to writing any sort of underdog story. And so the more and more I learned about the astronauts themselves and their families and all the people that were a part of this incredible journey, uh, it felt like a, a really interesting and unique way to tell the story, but from an angle we don't often see, which is from the eyes of the kids and what that was like for them, the kind of wide-eyed wonder and the awe of it, but also the reality of this is their parents doing something both thrilling and, and terrifying. 15 seconds, guidance is internal. 12, 11, I just love kind of excavating the history of science and finding these incredible true stories and then breathing an entire play's worth of life and poetry into them. It brings the human journey of exploration and discovery into a single person in a single spot in time and space. Delta H is minus two throttle down. Theater is a chance for a group of humans to stop and share their focus on another human and learn everything about them. And I think about that every time I write, and it is confirmed for me in productions when I see especially multi-generational audiences experience something together. We know more about each other than we think we do, and drama is one of those forms that allows us to remember that.